how's the experience been so far? Kind of what you expected? Anything different? Um, it's been good. I mean, there's been a level of comfort, obviously, coming in with the previous staff, and the basketball side has been pretty consistent with what it's been for me for the for the past four years. But you know, new city, new place. Um, still more so on like the country rural side, which is comfortable, but still a lot more to do. Um, I'm still yet to see all that I want to see, but I guess that basketball takes the priority there but um, best believe uh, once I graduate I'll be coming back to see a bit more because I think that there's a whole lot more to offer. Um, it's fun, it's exciting. What was the overwhelming pitch from Coach Brooks that made you want to commit here? You know what, it was it was me. I was thinking about it. Um, obviously I was at a point in my life where I could have declared I could have gone pro or, or tried to go overseas. Um, but you know, it took me a long time to come to the conclusion. It was I did it myself and I thought, you know, it's, it's going to be a good challenge, it's changed, new conference, new facilities, new place, um, but the consistent with being able to work out with him was something that was appealing to me. Um, it was a good duality about it, a good, you know, level of not being completely changed and thrown into a, like a whole new environment, but like still having that, the staff, the workout, the, the, my routine that I have had for the past four years, so it was, at the end of the day, it was just a good balance to have um, for whatever my future holds. How close were you to going to the W? <laughs> it, it, I took a long time to, to think about it. Um, obviously, it's appealing, and I'm not going to sit here and lie. You know, my names are in good positions on all of the mock drafts. Um, but you know, at, at the end of the day, I came back here, and I have a lot more to work on. And I think you know, being a point guard and trying to be the best leader I can be, because it's such a vital thing for my position. Why not test it with a whole new team um, that needs to get integrated? You know, we've got babies, we've got new people who haven't played. In a, in a division like this before, you know, like a conference like this. Um, so, you know, this was the best challenge for me to, to try and improve, you know, like the, the not physical things about being a point guard. Yeah. Have you been able to kind of bridge the gap between the people that didn't play under Brooks and, and you and a couple others as well? Or how's that been as well, like yeah. helping them? We're definitely getting there. I mean, we've had a couple of team workouts and, you know, it's vital at this point in the summer that you start developing chemistry. Um, but in saying that, you know, we haven't played yet. We haven't had those 40 minutes on the court. So it's, it's definitely going to be, you know, a, a process during the season. Um, but I think, you know, off court, our energy and our chemistry is good. Um, great bunch of girls. And I think that was his purpose and his point is trying to develop you know, personality as well. Um, you know, recruit great people. Um, you can't just recruit a bunch of random people with not great personalities or, you know, selfish people. That uh, You're starting a program, you need to start with good people. Um, someone and some people that are gonna continue the foundation. Um, you know, it's so important. So I think a large part of his recruiting process was to get good good girls, which they have. Like, I've, I've had a lot of fun with these girls already. How much influence was Coach Brooks on you coming to Kentucky with him? Yeah, no, this was my decision. Um, it, the end of the season was was a whirlwind, that's for sure. But at the same time, as I said, I was uh, juggling other decisions, um, and it, it took me a while. But I came to it myself, and I had some good talks with some people close to me. And I think, I think, well, I hope this was the best decision for me. Um, but it, it's where I'm at now, so I got to make the most of it for sure. There's no going back. Do you see yourself as Keith and I are excited about double Claras, right? <laughs> Those yeah. two tall Claras in the middle. Have you all talked about that and, and just what this team yeah, could look like yeah. around you two? I mean, we're definitely a really like tall team all around. Um, I think like having the height we have, it can be like such an advantage. So I think that would be really good. Have you played on a team with this much height? Nope, I have not. Something different? Yeah. <laughs> you used to, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Anything specific from you? No, just um, like you mentioned, kind of the transition, having so many Virginia Tech yeah. people. What, what does that mean to you, and what does it ha has it made it that much easier? Yeah, no, it means a lot. Um, it's definitely like you have people you're familiar with. Like we have a lot of the same coaching staff. We have um, players and everything. So I think that makes things like a lot easier for everyone because um, we have each other. But yeah. Gabby says you're extending your game. Are you yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am. I've been, I've been practicing them. <laughs> and how's it going? It's good, it's good. <laughs> and then, yeah. you know, uh, you mentioned the Virginia Tech uh, people, but also you had two that stuck around here at UK and Sonia yeah. and Casting. Mm -hmm. What have they meant to, to you guys? Um, they're, you yeah, they're really helpful. Um, obviously, they know, like, the school, they know the area, like, they know how things, like, work around here. So I think that's really helpful to have, um, and they've been doing really well. So, yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks, nice to meet you. You said about you never been on a team with this much height before. How can that benefit you as you move forward in the season? Yeah, I mean, that's obviously really helpful. Um, you want height, obviously, in basketball. Um, I think that having so much, like, 
like depth in that area can be really helpful. Like you're not always relying on one person, so I think that's good. How much confidence do you bring with you from what you did at the end of last season? How much can you bring that in and carry that over into this season? Yeah, I think that that um, is really helpful. I think that brings like that end of the year really built up my confidence like as much as it could. So I think like bringing that here will be really important. Was it just a matter of you getting your opportunity to do yeah. that? Is it was that? What did those two tell you about Coach Brooks and his staff coming in? Um, I don't know. They just said, you know, like, you know, he, he's just him. <laughs> you know, I don't know how else to say it, but um, just like, you know, great people, great guy, you know, stuff that you also see during the recruiting process too. So just great people. You know, what stood out to you about him specifically during the recruiting process? Um, I would say just, um, like I said, him being a good person and just um, the developmental side of, you know, basketball, really just putting that into the players and, you know, getting them somewhere and just growing them as players and not just, you know, sticking them in his system. Yeah, I love that. Anything in particular with your game that you're looking to develop this season specifically? Um, pretty much everything, you know, stepping out, definitely outside shooting, um, just bringing whatever piece the team needs really, you know, being in the SEC, so I'm, I'm super excited. Clara just mentioned the outside shooting too. Is that a big part of what this team's identity might be? Um, possibly, yeah. We're all just, you know, moving the ball, um, a lot of, you know, screenplay, stuff like that. So whatever, um, you know, coach has planned for us, you'll be seeing that for sure. You used to be on one of the tallest on the team, and you walk in here and I see three right here that look about the same size. What, what does that mean, like, to have this kind of size on one team? Oh, it's great. It's great, but um, it's definitely ne necessary, especially being in the SEC. You know, you have a lot of big, bigger players, big people, including the guards, too. So it's just, it's been great, though. You know, iron sharpens iron, so we're all just getting each other better, working hard. I was going to say, I think that would be helpful in practice, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. For you? Like, yeah. For sure, for sure. Competing every day is something we do, so it's been, it's been amazing. Just, you know, being able to go at each other, getting each other better, getting each other stronger, and also just learning um, how each other plays, especially, you know, building that chemistry is really important. Anything in particular you guys are doing to build chemistry outside of practice? Oh, yeah, yeah, we hang out. Um, we have movie Mondays, so we'll go to the movies sometimes. We're just, um, we've been to karaoke. We just, yeah, we just do random stuff around Lexington. It's a really nice area, so we're all just, you know, new and finding things to do here. Yeah. Do you have a go-to karaoke and how helpful has it been for uh, all these other transfers and the veteran girls on your team helping you out? Yeah, it's been really good just relying on everyone to help me out as a freshman. I think that's the most important thing is leaning on some people that are older than you, relying on my coaches and really just trusting the process. So really it's just a day-by-day -day thing and just allowing everyone to you know, help me out and soak everything in so I can apply it and make myself the best I can for the team. As a freshman, you knew what you were getting yourself into coming mm -hmm. to a program to play for Coach Brooks. Mm -hmm. What excites you the most to being able to play for him, and why make this move to follow him here? Alexa? I think um, for me, it was always about the relationships I had in my recruiting process, and I think Coach Brooks and really just the whole coaching staff, I was able to build a really strong relationship with all them and um, be someplace where it felt like home. So that really just made me want to be here and work with these people because they're good people first off, and that was the most important thing for me is doing this and winning with good people because that's what makes it fun. Was the name Lexi Blue, did that help Lexington feel like home? I mean, I think it made it seem like it was meant to be, so um, I definitely think that was a sign. Um, so it did give me a little bit more confidence. I think this is the perfect place for me. My name fits and everything like that. So, What has Coach Brooks' approach been like so far? We saw what he accomplished at Virginia Tech mm -hmm. already, but this is starting from scratch with a program that is going to take some building up. Mm -hmm. I think his approach is really just seeing what we all have, being super observant, um, knowing that we have some expectations and everything that goes with that, but also knowing that it's about us at the end of the day and just kind of keeping it to us as a team. That's really the main thing. Um, yes, there's expectations. Yes, there's certain things that people are looking for, but it's really about you know going out here and doing this out of love for the sport and really just loving being with each other and doing well without doing it. What's going to be your biggest adjustment so far? Um, I think my biggest adjustment has been the weight room. I am someone that can definitely run the floor and everything like that and shoot the ball at a high level. So I think for me, the weight room has definitely been an adjustment. But I think I'm getting a little stronger. You can ask Coach Kevin about that. Are you from Orlando? Yeah. Why is he going to Orlando? Lake Highland. And the new locker rooms, the new Coliseum. But for you, it's completely new. Yeah. How has it been for that, you know, just seeing all that new stuff? Yeah, it's... It's exciting for everybody, but I feel like it's a little different for me because I had the chance to play in Memorial Coliseum before it was renovated. So 
just seeing the changes they've made and knowing how it looked before, it's truly amazing, and I'm super excited to get to play in there. Are you excited for the air conditioning? Yes, that's what I'm most excited for. <laughs> These girls didn't get to ex experience the lack of air conditioning in there, so yeah, I'm super excited for that. you feel like that was a competitive advantage for you guys, or...? I do, yeah, because, you know, we were used to it, and um, I feel like it did give us a competitive edge when we played, but, um, you know, I feel like just this year protecting home court will give us that competitive edge. Have you adjusted to Coach Brooks, you know, system and practice? Yeah, it's been great. Uh, Coach Brooks, um, he leads practice with intensity, um, but... You know, we, we just have fun while we're on the court, and that's super important uh, when it comes to having a good basketball team. So, yeah, he knows what he's doing, and I'm super excited to continue learning from him. Cassidy, you're from this state. You know this program. Why was it important for you when Coach Brooks came here to stay with the Oscars? Yeah, um, this is my home. You know, uh, grew up in Kentucky. Um, it's every little girl's dream to wear Kentucky across her chest. So I, I definitely, definitely didn't want to go anywhere. Um, so I was excited to hear Coach Brooks was coming in, had a conversation with him. You know, he laid, laid out the expectations. And, you know, I told him that I would work as hard as I can for him and super excited that he gave me the opportunity to continue playing for my home state. For someone like you, it might have been hard to leave. What about Coach Brooks made you especially want to stay here? Just seeing what he's done in the past, you know, he's been to he's been to the Final Four. Um, just he's accomplished so much uh, in his coaching career, and you can tell that he truly loves the game and he loves seeing his players improve. So it was I was super excited when I heard he was coming in to get to learn from someone with so much experience. How do you kind of pass along to the new players and the experience? new opportunities and just being able to play in the SEC? Um, I'm just looking forward to building like new connections with my teammates and the everybody was so welcoming when I first came. The coaches, um, some fans, and all that. So it was a, it was a no-brainer. You come from a you know a profile that you had played in some international games, mm -hmm. FIBA, and all those competitions. How much did that help your game when you came to college? Um, it helped with the physicality. Playing in FIBA, it's no joke over there. They're very physical in a mental game. It helped with my mental as well. So just being able to have a short-term memory, if I make a mistake, just getting over it really quick. Um, it just helped me become a better player all around, just the fast pace and just having a positive outlook on things. Playing in the SEC is going to be different than playing at Charlotte. For sure. Are you prepared for the SEC and what it is? What it for sure, and I'm still preparing. It's going to be a huge adjustment for me just coming from the American to the SEC, better competition, better players, a better league. So we're, I'm going to get adjusted. I'm going to be fine, but I'm ready. What's your thoughts on your team so far? The team is amazing. Um, our chemistry, we're going, working on our chemistry, but off the court, we get along. We love each other. We love to hang out. Um, we have a great group of girls that's getting, we're getting better every day um, on the court in a weight room running, conditioning, so we're still lear we're learning each other, but every day we're getting better. I know you got a lot of playing time. you played a lot of games, but do you feel like a newcomer starting over? For sure. I definitely feel like this is new for me, um, but regardless of playing basketball, is basketball. It's a, an adjustment just to learn new things, but I still want to come in, be a leader, and bring my experience with me and just continue to build on my career that I've already had. Do you feel like you have to be a leader? Is that something you want to step into and do? For sure, for sure. Being um, one of the older players on the team, I feel like I have my one of my roles is to be a leader, just help the younger girls adjust, like on the court mentally and things like that. So I would definitely love to step into a leadership role here. What type of leader are you? What type? Of yeah, I mean, it was. Uh, it's the recruiting process. It's the process. So it is what it is. But it was great to get on the phone with them and hear from them, and then figure out what we were going to do and I knew it was going to be great to be here with them. Sigh of relief after that. Yes. 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 What's the excitement level for the room that's being worked on right now, Memorial Coliseum? Yes, <laughs> yes. honestly it's super exciting and I'm super excited to start playing games in there and then being the first group also to be in there and then start a new culture there. It's going to be really great. Anything else? Awesome. I'm good. Thank nice you. to Thanks meet so you. Much. Nice Thank you. you. Why Kentucky? Um, honestly, the culture here, it's a great place to be, and the coaches were really welcoming and very nice, so, yeah. And you're a long way from home, from Canada? Yes, yes. What's your impression on Kentucky so far and, and being in the um, state? 
Um, it's been great. Um, you know, playing basketball in the States is a huge accomplishment and something I really was trying to work for. So being here and being at Kentucky is amazing and truly a blessing. And it's awesome to be here. I'm sure Coach Brooks had a big impact on you coming yes. here. In what way? Um, you know, he's just who he is. He's a great coach. He's great on development. And I, uh, I've seen what he's done, and I really am excited to be part of it and be coached by him. What do you bring to the table? Mm -hmm. um, I'm a very versatile and long athletic player, so I'm very excited to bring that and bring my athleticism and vers versatility to the court. What's it been so far, competition and practice? Mm -hmm. um, it's been great. We're a truly long and athletic team, so it's been great for all of us to play against each other and then also for my personal development. It's been great to learn how to score against these amazing players.